Welcome to another one of our HubSpot tutorials. This is CJ with The Gist. We're an inbound marketing and growth agency and certified HubSpot solutions partner based in Buffalo, New York. Let's dive in. This video is about smart content. What is smart content? In the HubSpot CMS content management system, it gives you the option to display content differently based on a variety of variables, based on who the contact is, where they are accessing your site from, um, like country or something like that, based on device type, and really a variety of other variables. So it's a really cool way to personalize your site and make it a lot more dynamic. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Obviously, um, you do that within existing website content. So I've done that by navigating to marketing, website, and then I've gone to my website pages. Now, obviously, this is a demo account, so you're not seeing all the pages that I would normally have, but um, you're going to still understand how it works nonetheless. So I'm going to go into sample about page and I'm going to click edit. Right? Here's a very basic um, uh, test page that comes out of the box. So you can kind of see how the page editor works. We do have another video that shows how to create and edit pages within the HubSpot CMS using the page editor. And if you're interested in that, I would suggest checking it out uh, and or scheduling a free HubSpot strategy session with us. So again, um, every page is, is uh, edited through a drag and drop um, uh, editing function. And, uh, and now I want to show you how to make these specific modules smart. So let's say you have this module and you say meet our team, right? Um, this is how it would display default, but maybe you want to show it differently if the person visiting your website is a current customer. So I'm going to uh, click into this module and now I can click here and edit an expanded view and this is where I can edit that content. Um, but I'm going to go back to the page here and I want to add my smart rule. So right here under smart variation, it says this module currently does not have any smart rules, but we're going to go ahead and add one. So I'm going to click add smart rule and then show different content based on um, here. You can choose from contact list, list membership, lifecycle stage, country, device type, referral source. So if they came from organic search versus social media um, or, or any other, um, you know, or, original source. But I'm going to go with contact lifecycle stage and I'm going to click add a smart rule and I'm going to base it based on customer. So if the contact is in my CRM and listed as a customer, I'm going to show something different to them. Right. So now here um, you can edit, you can pick which smart rule you're editing from and you can add multiple smart rules for any particular module. Right now it says I'm editing for default content, but I'm going to switch to customer and now I'm editing for customer. I'm going to click, um, uh, you know, ed edit an expanded view. And now I can, I'm going to say something like, welcome back. And I'm going to add a personalization token. First, I'm going to welcome back, first name. Um, so happy to have you back on our site. Um, here's a little more information about our team in case you didn't already know. Right. And now I just hit apply changes. And now um, whenever I go back into this module, Again, I can see default content versus customer and um, and then you'll be able to see those changes. Now, um, obviously, when you're you're working uh, within the page editor in the preview, you're only going to see it. it's going to default to the default view. Um, but as you can see, it's really easy to, first of all, figure out the different variables when you would want to um, show different modules and different content differently on your site. And then in a matter of minutes, you can create that smart rule and edit and customize that content further. So smart content is a really great feature that's available on HubSpot um, website pages and landing pages. And uh, I know a lot of people who use it and they really feel like it um, makes their website more dynamic and effective. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you want to dive deeper into this topic, suggest we do a new tutorial on a new topic, or if you want to learn more about our HubSpot onboarding and support services, head on over to thegistcontent.com slash HubSpot. Thanks for watching.